How are you? Good to see you. It's not every day you get to hug. Hi. Good to, good to see you. The heroes who saved your life. If they hadn't have responded, <laughs> I'd be gone. In September, Frank Cavanaugh took a bike ride from Point Loma to Imperial Beach and collapsed. And the next thing I know, I woke up in the, uh, in the ICU, and if it hadn't been for these guys. Frank doesn't remember <laughs> any of it because he wasn't breathing and he had no pulse. A lot of us first responders, we go to these calls and um, nine times out of 10, it comes to a negative outcome. So, you know, it's an honor that we get to stand next to a survivor here. Deputy Richard Pele, along with deputies Bianca De Niro and Casey Calloway, never stopped continuous chest compressions started by two bystanders. It's very tiring. After even just a minute, it's very long. It's um, tiring and we want to give him the best. Yeah. As I'm getting tired, we want yeah. a fresh set of hands in there um, so he's getting the best care we can give him. I remember hearing one of the paramedics behind me saying that oh, he's breathing again. So that was the that was the best feeling then. Imperial Beach Fire Captain Jason Bell and his crew also kept the eight minutes of compressions going. Our measures wouldn't have been possible without the uh, quick thinking of the deputies and the bystanders who were already on scene doing CPR. Then it was AMR's paramedic Nikki Androsky who got a pulse. We quickly loaded him up en route to the hospital and he started breathing on his own. For paramedic Robert Odom, it was the last shift of a long career. It feels great. This is the best part of the job. I recently retired from AMR and to see people talking after you run on these calls, it, that's why we do what we do. Add it all up, that's two bystanders and nine first responders. So 11 sets of hands saved Frank. Today we get to stand next to him again and see him again and it, it's a great honor doing this job and, and that's why we do it. Good to see you again. <laughs> Frank's wife, Crystal, is glad the heart attack didn't happen three days later when her husband was expected to be at sea. I would have been out on a six-man outrigger halfway between Catalina and California. Instead, it was Imperial Beach where first responders refused to watch Frank Cavanaugh breathe his last breath. I told him, thanks for saving my life. In the Zevely Zone. These guys, yeah, saved my life. Jeff Zevely, News 8.